Hello and welcome back to the 5 minute library. This is your host Piyushi Sharma and today I'm back with another book. Today we'll be covering Dune by Frank Herbert and Dune is book 1 in the Dune Chronicles by Frank Herbert and his son Brian Herbert. Now I know a lot of us have watched the movie and found it slightly confusing due to the number of terms but I'd like to clear out and say that the book is much much better than the movie as always so dune is the first book in the series as i've mentioned and follows an incredibly beautiful mix of genres consisting of fantasy sci-fi political power plays and a little bit of romance the reason why i like dune is because it feels like the handbook to any of the new age fantasy and sci-fi dystopian storylines that we tend to watch on our screens or read in the latest books that come out for example if you like game of thrones if you like the 100 If you like any of the dystopian movies or books, I'm pretty sure you would absolutely love Dune because it is a brilliant masterpiece when it comes to creation of storylines, developing characters and having it all tie in with a much higher meaning. The reason why I also like this book in particular is because that it can draw parallels to reality. when it comes to political power plays across the globe sustainability issues cult mentalities fostered by fanatical groups that lead to terrorism and violence and form a lot of havoc in the name of a particular cult leader despite being written in the last century it is incredibly relevant in today's times as it also touches upon the topics of atomic and nuclear weapons now the storyline goes as such is that the book follows paul atreides the main character for the book who is a young prince on a planet called caladan a caladan is pretty similar to earth however earth is supposed to be extinct by the time we enter this fantasy world The first few chapters are a little slow so it's a bit hard to read however if you stick to it i assure you you're in for a beautiful ride Paul the young prince and his family move to a planet called Arrakis they are moved due to an imperial order by an emperor who rules over the galaxy so they've created a, a entire galaxy within the world it's not just one specific world and there's a lot of different planets Caladan being the home planet of Paul and Arrakis being another one. The reason why Arrakis is special is because it's a desert planet. The entire planet is just sand and large worms that roam in the sand. The reason why Arrakis is special is because the sand creates a specific substance called spice. which is used by all of the interstellar travelers within that specific fantasy world it is also used for consumption as a form of food or entertainment which is sort of intermixed in the book and it shows up in a lot of different chapters however what makes it special is that the entire system of the entire galaxy cannot exist without the spice and the spice is generated by large machines operated by local natives called the fremen here is when the plot goes into play when paul and his family move to arrakis and they face threats biologically from the environment they face threats from within their household they also face threats from the emperor The pros of this book are is that it it really delves into topics that I find very relevant. It mixes all of my favorite genres beautifully and it it talks about leadership done right, but it also talks about leadership gone horribly wrong. Which is why I feel like this book is extremely relevant a century later after being published. However, the cons are is that well As you can see it's it's a pretty thick book so if you're someone who struggles with reading large books you'd have to be patient with it it's about uh, 850 to 900 pages it also is a little complicated in the beginning as all fantasy novels are so it helped me to look at chapter summaries online for the initial chapters of the book and then it was much easier to read Overall I do believe Dune to be one of the best books that I have ever read and I am truly obsessed with this entire series. I went to watch the movie again and especially now that Dune 2 is about to hit the theaters soon. If you truly want to get the 
in the best experience possible i would recommend you read book 1 because this is what comprises the movie part 1 and 2 thank you for being with me here today and sharing your time until we speak again see you in 5